Buenos Tardes, you beguiled people babies. It's your dad. You're back at it again to tell you about. <coughs> back at it again to tell you about the Char 5 holiday merch. We've got all your favorites like the ugly sweater, which you wear in the bathroom, football games, your niece's singing recital, Canada. It comes in an assortment of colors and features some of the video game items you squishes know I love, like the car keys from Kingdom Come. The currency from Food Fight, the tornado from Xenomorph, and the snowmen have the masks from Person. And you know what goes really well with cold weather and sweaters? Bean. What kind of bean? Pom pom. Bean. Oh. Bean. This is my favorite item because it's so comfy, the design is beautifully embroidered, and it looks real good regardless of what you're actually wearing. So you don't have to just wear it on Krimbus. Kwanzaa. It's also the cheapest item, so if you're gonna buy anything, I suggest this one because it's not gonna be around forever. But if you don't want a sweater that features copyleft and stuff from games you already know, how about one from a game you probably don't know, because it's not even made yet? Well, Father's got you covered, because it's a Soul Star sweater featuring Kasima Kamuni from my Project Soul Star. She's an ass kicking cutie, and he's a handsome fella still learning the ropes. Together, they'll become the strongest soul warriors to have ever saved. I just want people to care. I don't want to spoil it. I've spent the last decade writing the story and I just want people to care. They also come in shirts just in case you live in California where they think snow is just a made up thing like the Tooth Fairy and taxes. Go to ProudRay.com and order yours today to get it in time for the holidays such as Hadouken. I didn't know Ryu was Jewish. The store is having a Black Friday sale from Thursday, November 28th to Funday, Monday, December the 2nd, where you trash pandas can get 15% off store wide. Thanks for your support. I love you. Sorry I called you trash pandas that one time. December the 2nd was my scripture name, coincidentally. This is disturbingly dangerous. How can Toad see the road when his eyes are most likely being obscured by the steering wheel? Didn't Polterpup have pupils at the end of Dark Moon? Is that just not a thing anymore? Haha, ha, the princess's van needs to pack like 40 different suitcases, but how long were they staying here that they felt she needed to pack 40 different suitcases? My apologies for the inconvenience, but the elevator is temporarily out of service. We should have it in tip-top shape soon. So, not only is it kind of weird that the regular ghost can talk, but shouldn't Luigi and friends find it strange that the hotel staff is talking but their lips aren't moving? Welcome, guests, to the last resort! Are you ready to check in? Naming your hotel the last resort is a cute idea, but it's the worst business decision ever. You know, I just realized, if the plan is to trap everyone in paintings, why not just do it now while we're in the elevator? You have them all in one place where nobody can escape or really do anything about a bunch of ghosts, why wait? Are... are Luigi's shirt and overalls just a one-piece suit? Is the shirt sewn into the overalls? Did Mario have a pizza party and not invite Luigi, or is all this pizza for Mario himself? Cause in one, he's an asshole, in the other... God damn, dude, that's three pizzas! No, 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 Mario! What was that? All of your friends have been captured? And you can't just abandon them here, you say? Ah, oh, you're the same as ever, I see. A bit of a handful. Oh, excuse the f out of me for wanting to save the people I love. Oh, those are definitely the elevator buttons. I never would have guessed a ghost had taken them. What do you mean I never would have guessed a ghost had- Who else would have taken them? I got an invitation from someone claiming to own this hotel. They said they had a precious collection of ghosts gathered from all over the world. No self-respecting ghost researcher would pass up on such an appealing offer, obviously. I accepted their invitation, but when I arrived, the invitation was only a ruse! They captured me and took my precious ghost collection! Wait, what ghost collection? It's not the portrait ghost from the first game, did you capture more ghosts since then? I thought you were, and I quote, too old for this ghost-catching tomfoolery. Ah, that includes all those ghosts you'd worked so hard to catch for me before! Uh, no? Aside from the boos, I don't recognize any of the ghosts in this hotel. Even King Boo! Losing him really got under my skin. He's my favorite. Oh, he's your favorite? Then why'd you sell him in a fucking garage sale? Ah. You 
You know, I think that's the only time we ever do that in this game. Like, thank goodness we don't have to keep coming back to the lab, but what's the point of unloading the poltergeist now if we never do it again? To help you out, I'll give you one of my greatest inventions yet. I call it the Virtual Boo. VB for short. Haha, <laughs> got it. It's a state-of-the-art virtual reality device fitted with a fancy red screen. Really cutting-edge stuff. And red is all the rage, you know? Just wait until I finish the marketing materials on this. It'll fly off the shelves! <laughs> How do you go from a Game Boy Color to a DS to a Virtual Boy? Isn't that like three steps back? Hell, even the Game Boy Horror could display color in 3D images. Why would you make something that's worse than what came before it? The very first thing you need to do is install this elevator tracker inside the elevator for me, okay? Nice. As for what it is, I'll tell you later. Go on and get it installed. Well, you just told me it's an elevator tracker. I would assume its function is to track where the elevator is. Wait, you can do that? How is it that in this world where two plumbers stay at a haunted hotel with a princess and three of her fun guys, this is the part I find hard to believe? The latest invention from the brilliant mind of Professor Egad. I give you Guiji. The development process was a real challenge, to say the least. Fortunately, I had a little help from someone to test the prototype. Yeah, so there's a small addition to the 3DS remake of the first Luigi's Mansion, where during the events of Dark Moon, Egad sends Guiji back into the past to test him out. And while Guiji is an interesting invention, I feel like we're really overlooking the fact that Egad figured out time travel. What breed of dog is Polterpup? I'm still conducting research, but so far I'm guessing something like a silver retriever. <laughs> then why didn't you call him Polter Retriever? It was right there! What kind of makeup does Helen Gravely use as a frequently asked question? Why does Luigi get surprised every time this happens? He knows the button is gonna go in automatically. I did it! no. God damn it, Luigi. It was funny the first time, but now you just look like an idiot. To celebrate the shop's grand opening, just this once, I'm giving away a free gold bone. Go on, Luigi. Just select the gold bone to claim it. Oh, sure. When Egad says it, Luigi gets a free revive. When I say it, my girlfriend kicks me out of the shower. Didn't see her for three days when her friend Steve said it, though. Hey, it looks like you've stumbled across a boo already. That's a sign that indicates that there's a boo nearby. Let me explain it in more detail. Where are those note cards? You see, Kuiji's body is made of a material I've dubbed goo. Goo reacts to a frequency emitted by boos. So if there's a boo hiding nearby, the goo will vibrate to indicate this. The closer you get to a boo's location, the stronger the vibration will be. You'll definitely be able to tell if you get close. Did that all make sense, Luigi? A strong vibration means a boo is nearby. Why overcomplicate things? The boo radar from the first game worked perfectly. Why change the way we find the boos? I get that the boulder gust might be heavy, but can Luigi just, I don't know, climb onto the stage? If he can carry it on his back and climb ladders with it, I don't see why hopping on the stage would be an issue. You know, Polterpup does some pretty useful things in this game, so why wouldn't we just keep him around? Why are the ghosts in the audience cutouts? It's not like there aren't ghosts in the hotel that could have been there. Damn it, Luigi, you can't even blame anyone but yourself on that one! Why don't you just put the button away? Okay, you can say that Nintendo games are all light, happy, and fun, but Luigi's Mansion 3 is the game where Luigi uses a chainsaw to defeat one of the ghosts. If Luigi can climb this plant, that means that either the poltergeist is not that heavy and thus Luigi should be able to jump no problem, or that is one sturdy ass f***ing plant. Oh, look at that. So you do remember that Punch-Out was a thing. Huh. Cause, uh, it's been 10 years and we haven't had a new game in the series, so... Ah, my bright red megaphone, where art thou? I would give anything to be able to hold my dear sweet megaphone again. Morty's the director ghost, right? The master of all he surveys when it comes to this floor? He can fly and go through walls. How does he not know that the red megaphone is on one of his own sets? Luigi's Mansion 3 rips off all the movies. And also, 
maybe it's because I just did a Resident Evil marathon where I played Resident Evil 2 like a gazillion times between both the original and the remake, but you ever notice how this game is just Resident Evil 2? Like, there's a part where a city's on fire, a part where you're in a garage, a helicopter that needs to be brought down so you can collect something, a brief moment where you're on a bus, undead dogs, crows, giant spiders, a part where the main character falls down a chute, a moment where you're inside a cop's room, which has a typewriter in it, by the way, Key shaped like a heart, a diamond, a club, and a spade, a library, a scene where someone's locked up, a sewer area, a part where you fight an aquatic animal that requires a player to put an explosive in its mouth, a room with a painting over a fireplace, a gigantic plant monster in an area where a character falls from a great height in order to reobtain an item that's important to them, and a final boss that has a time limit. Huh. Run! It's Godzilla! It looks like Godzilla, but due to international copyright laws, it's not. Still, we should run like it is, Godzilla! Though it isn't. The fact that you get an achievement for this is straight up evil. Morty wasn't hurting nobody. Did you lose track of Polter Kitty, Luigi? Uh, are you serious? Polter Kitty? That's somehow less creative than Polter Pup. Polter Guy, Spook Kitty, Phantom Meow, Paranormal Captivity, Meow while Purgesnach. Okay, admittedly that last one's reaching a little bit, but fucking Scaredy Cat! Amateurs, the lot of you! Okay, so I'd like to point something out. When Luigi uses the pixelator to go back to the lab, he appears through another one, and since he can only go back through the same pixelator he used into the floor he was just on, it's safe to assume the pixelator doesn't travel with Luigi. If that's the case, wouldn't it be quicker and safer to send the Toadsy rescues through the pixelator instead of walking them all the way to the elevator, risking them getting captured again? You've gotten yourself into a real mess there, Luigi. Good news, though. The Poltergeist G00 has been tested in depths up to... I forget. Really deep. What's important is, it's waterproof. But because that ghost used the switch to control the water levels, your path is blocked. I think you could walk along the sewer waterway and reach the switch. Give it a try. Or, and hear me out, I could just swim over there! We've already established that the poltergust isn't very heavy, not to mention we've seen Luigi be able to hold his breath underwater, so why can't we just swim to the other side? F*** this fight, f*** this fight, f*** this fight! If Clem doesn't get you, then the spikes will, and if the spikes don't get you, then the bombs will, and if that doesn't get you, all three of them will! Suddenly Resident Evil 4. Suddenly Super Mario Odyssey. What does this heart have a GoPro on its head? This game rips off all the Resident Evil. Suddenly Splatoon. I'm gonna go higher! I'm pissing on the moon! <laughs> k, k, k king Boo! There was just a tiny slip-up. But it's no problem. Not at all. We'll have Luigi locked away soon. If I could just have a little bit more time. This sort of goes for any villain ever, but if they want to put Luigi in a painting, why don't they just take Luigi on themselves right now? It's not like they're doing anything else at the moment. Why would a ghost need to shower? And wow, we're batting three for three on that one, huh? <laughs> Get it? Cause just cause. Okay. Sup, dude? The name's Boozition. Got a minute to listen to my demo tape? Oh, I bet it's fire. Yeah, we all know someone like this guy. Okay, you knew what you were doing. You weren't supposed to run away from King Boo like a filthy coward! If you just let yourself get caught in that painting, King Boo would have showered me with praise for my brilliant trap! Well, maybe instead of monologuing and chasing me like a goober, he could have used his crown laser to turn me into a painting instantly! He has no one to blame but himself! <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. It's weird enough that the makeup changes her hairstyle, but how does it change her bust size, too? Come on, come on. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Let's go. Hop, hop. Yep. Wah. Wah. Oh, Mario, you extra bitch. Also, I would like to point out that there's no reason Luigi can't do this, too. Holy sh**, Mario, you sound like she got killed. Chill out, you know Luigi can save her. You are all flat. <laughs> anyway, just because you vacuumed up all those ghosts doesn't mean you can take me on. It doesn't matter that you beat the hotel owner. Helen Gravely. Ooh, she let all your friends get away. It's so frustrating when you trap something in a painting and it gets out, you know. Oh, trust me, I know. This is Luigi's Mansion 3, after all. How long did the hotel take to rebuild? Because they got construction materials and sh**, bulldozers, cement trucks. They had to have rented those from somewhere, so did they just sleep on the bus until they built enough of the hotel to stay in? 
Okay, how did this even happen? That doesn't look like an accident. That looks like Luigi purposefully put his hand underneath the nail and started hammering. Oh, no. Hey everyone, Charai5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSins pastiche of everything wrong with Luigi's Mansion 3. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month, or hit that join button. To those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out everything wrong with Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char i 5 signing off.